guys, so I have obviously just done my hair and makeup, ready to film like an autumn... You'll have seen it by the time this vlog goes up. It's like, um, your staples for your autumn wardrobe, if that makes sense. Like things that I believe everyone should have in their wardrobe ready for autumn. Um, but I did just get a package. It is some Fabletics sports leggings. And I thought if I had like some snazzy leggings, it might encourage me to exercise a little bit more because that's part of Project Lizzie. Not just to exercise more, but to enjoy it. But I thought if I looked good while I was doing it, I might enjoy it more. This all just comes down to my inability to save money. But, you know, I thought I would show you what I got. But the first item, so I bought these leggings in a size medium. Why are they so short? I don't remember them being cropped on the website. What, mid-calf? Right, I'm gonna try them on. I did buy two pairs, so this is the first pair and then I have another pair as well. So, I must admit, I do really like these. So they're really high-waisted and they feel like tight here. Normally when I get high-waisted leggings, they, they always just fall down, but these don't feel like they're gonna do that. They feel like they are gonna stay like nice and high. They've got this humongous pocket for your phone. Like that looks like it's gonna be secure in there. And then it's just got this mesh paneling get a little bit closer, this mesh panelling down here. They are, as you can see, mid-calf. Nowhere on the label does it say mid-calf, but I still really like them. Shall I keep them? What do you guys think? Shall I keep them or shall I send them back? Right, I do have another pair. Let me pop those on now. All right, so these aren't quite as short. They're still quite short. I think... I think in terms of length, I should have got a medium, uh, sorry, I should have got a large, but everywhere else, like around the waist, it fits so well, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall down at all. So this, these ones are obviously, I really love the design on these, so it's got, it's kind of like a purpley, like ashy purple at the top, and then it's got like these diagonal panels here, this is obviously pink, and then this is like a baby pink mesh. I really, I think they're so flattering. I love the design. Yeah, these I can definitely keep, but the other ones, I'm just not sure, it's the length. It's just putting me off. What do I do? Please let me know down below, because I don't know. I just don't know. So, the other thing I think I'm gonna do today in terms of fitness, while we are on the topic, so obviously with COVID-19, I am not gonna be putting myself into a gym anytime soon. I think that is just, I mean, obviously all the safety precautions are in place, things like that. It is completely safe to do so, but I am just not in the right frame of mind to do so yet, I think I probably won't be heading into a gym until there is a vaccine. So I know two personal trainers. One at the start of lockdown did like a home workout program that I was doing and she was absolutely incredible. And then another one I actually know through YouTube. So there's Lydia, Lydia Hume Fitness. I will put their Instagram tags on the screen now. And then there's Mac, who goes by Return of the Mac on YouTube. She is the most hilarious human being on this planet. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop them both a message and I'm gonna ask them if they have any advice to enjoying exercise when you're like me, i.e. exercise just doesn't appeal to you whatsoever. Not my cup of tea, but do want to get into it. So I'm gonna see what advice they have. So let's compose a message together. Okay, so this is what I've got. Hey, I was wondering if you had any advice on how to enjoy exercising when it's really not your cup of tea. With COVID sticking around, I'm not in the position to join any classes or gyms, but I do want to exercise a little bit more. But to be honest, I really hate exercise. Any tips on making it more enjoyable for me? Right, lidsfitness.coaching, send, and Mackenzie Mulligan fit with two T's. So we'll see what they have to say, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and film my video and I will get back to you when they reply. Okay, so I've just finished filming. 
it's genuinely been like five hours which might be why I kind of look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards but we move so I've had a reply from Mackenzie so basically what she suggested is doing some kind of mini workouts while I'm not too keen just to start out and then she also suggested to do 10 minutes of yoga every single morning and she she abs she says she absolutely swears by that so maybe I'm gonna do some yoga for the next couple of days and see how I like that what I really really miss is club size so obviously we all know what Zumba is but Zumba is slightly more like latino you know salsa -y. but club size is more to like charts music but you just dance with glow sticks in the dark with disco lights and you just have a great time and before you know an hour's gone and you've done like a hundred squats like i know i could quite easily do that at home but there's just a massive difference going to the classes being in the atmosphere and it's hard to motivate yourself while you're by yourself like just at home if you get what i mean i really miss classes i can't wait for them to start again to be honest i can't wait for covid to be over full stop but you know we move i am in desperate need to take this makeup off so that is what i'm gonna do because i'm pretty sure my skin is starting to hate me um but yeah i will update you maybe tomorrow when i do some yoga <music> So this morning I woke up in the foulest mood when I went downstairs. I had that letter waiting for me from the South Yorkshire police saying that I had been caught speeding. If you haven't seen the last episode, I explain it all then. It's about halfway through if you just want to skip to that bit. Oh my goodness, yeah. But I did exactly what Mackenzie told me. I got up, I did some yoga first thing. I did a 20 minute stretch yoga session. The only yoga I've ever done before was so difficult, practically put me off for life. So I did a more toned down version and it was more about breathing and stretching. And I enjoyed it so much and my body felt so much better afterwards. I felt like a lot of my stress, a lot of my anxiety had been relieved it was on this channel called mad fit on youtube i will link her video in the description box below but she does a lot of short 10 minute um sessions which is exactly what mackenzie told me to do we will see how we go with the yoga just to start off with during the day i actually got a message back from lydia so she actually sent me three voice messages which i haven't opened yet so i thought we could listen to them together hey so i'm just gonna voice note you because i'm always moving around and i never have a chance to reply half the time i'd say that obviously there's loads of different types of exercise there's not just one um like swimming running going to the gym, weights, dancing, like there's so many types of exercise. So I'd say it's really beneficial for you to find one you enjoy the most. Even walking, you might not think that's exercising, but actually you're getting outside, getting some vitamin D, fresh air, really good for your mental and physical health. So if you enjoy that, keep doing that. Obviously, because you've not going to the gym, there's not as much available. If you can, grab friends, try and go to the park, do an outside workout together, whether it be socially distanced, can be beneficial i'd say try and get people involved like i did some on zoom when i was in full lockdown with friends and family which was a lot funner i would say you just gotta find what you enjoy right now and just try and keep with that stick to a routine like write down what days you're gonna be doing it like put in monday wednesday friday say okay i'm gonna be doing this 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 and this on them days i'm sorry if it's quite broad advice obviously <laughs> it is just hard in the situation if you can only work out at home like 
I'm not going to lie and be like, yeah, home workouts are the best fun in the world because they're not the most fun things in the world. They kind of get a bit boring after a while. Um, but just keep persisting with it. And yeah, I hope that helps us anyway. So that is actually some pretty good advice because basically during isolation, I kind of just have to accept the fact that I'm not going to be able to have as much available to me as... I would if I was able to go to the gym. I think being able to go to the gym after all this is blown over and finding a personal trainer that can just make it more fun for me, I feel. I feel like having somebody there cheering me on will be a lot more enjoyable than just kind of forcing myself to do it in my own home. However, she did mention doing it with friends and family and I think that is actually quite important as well. Like when I go to club size, I go with my mum. My mum does Pilates as well as club size. She told me that she would do some Pilates with me to get my core strength up because I have a lot of strength in my legs and virtually zero core strength whatsoever. So maybe doing some Pilates with my mum will help as well and I will definitely film that for you guys if you are interested in that kind of thing. Thank you so much to Lydia and Mackenzie for your advice, that was so so helpful. Wow, I look like a mess. I'm also in the exact same outfit as yesterday as well. Wow, I'm really representing today and my voice is going. You'll have to excuse me this morning guys because I have only just woken up. As you can see, just made myself some breakfast. The reason that I thought I would talk to you guys this morning is because this came in the post so I saw this on Megan Grubbs channel and I thought just because I am literally just getting started cooking and I'm a complete amateur it's basically an entire book of dishes that you can make in like one dish it's called the roasting tin so I thought this would be a really really good way to kind of start getting into cooking maybe enjoy it a little bit more so I think I am gonna cook for my family tonight and so I'm just gonna sit here and find something that I fancy cooking or something that we have the ingredients for more like <laughs> So I found two that I might try. So I'm pretty sure we have salmon. So this right here is steam roasted salmon and broccoli with lime, ginger, garlic, and chili. The only thing I know we don't, do I know we don't have it? I, I'm not sure we have peanuts. And then the other thing, I know we definitely don't have chicken wings, but we definitely have chicken. So I think if I just cook it, so I think I can just like substitute the chicken wings for, um, I think it's chicken breast or chicken thighs maybe. So this, oh, how good does that look? That is the spicy chipotle chicken wings with sweet potato wedges, coriander and lime yogurt. That might have been the one that Megan Grubb did on her channel actually, but that just looks really, really yummy. And I know I have the rest of the ingredients, so. I think I'm gonna ask my fam what they would prefer. But to be honest, I only got like halfway down the book. I didn't like, there is so much more. Oh my gosh, they do like puddings as well. They do sweet things. There's chocolate apple brioche pudding. What? Orange scented peach cobbler. and there's just a page of a pineapple. It's a real good use of paper. I'm so excited to start cooking with this book. Oh my goodness, it sounds amazing. Yeah, so I just bought this off Amazon. I can't remember how much it is, but I will link it in the description box below if you're interested. But yeah, I'm quite excited to get started with this.
Okay guys, I feel like this week has actually been a really successful week. So as you will have seen previously in this vlog, I started doing some yoga. I have been doing that every morning since the first, so I've been doing it basically for the entirety of this week. And I really enjoy it. I've been feeling so much more productive in the mornings after getting up and doing that little yoga routine. Also what I've noticed is getting up and doing that, I've created a routine which if you've been paying attention is another one of my points from Project Lizzie. I want to get more into a routine, more structure in my day and I think that literally sets me off to the perfect start. So one thing that hasn't been so successful this week is I did get that dreaded letter from the South Yorkshire Police, my fabulous speeding fine. Apparently it is not 60 pounds as I thought, it is 100 pounds which is great. We are currently at the 20th of September. We still have a good 10 days left to go of this month. And I am already over twice as much as I am allowed to spend. Which means technically I shouldn't be spending anything next month. But obviously that's not gonna happen. So it might take a couple of months to get back to budget. I actually can't believe this has happened in literally the first month of Project Lizzie. But something I would 100% recommend that I have taken from this is Keeping a journal of your spendings has helped me so much. It's made me so aware of what I am spending. It's made me, it's given me a lot more control over what I'm spending as well. It's just, it just means it's constantly in the forefront of my mind. Every single time I buy something, I will write it in here. I will write how much I spent on it. And that way I can just make sure I am on track to my goal, which obviously this month I'm not, but that aside, this is definitely going to be a massive asset to Project Lizzie. This little notebook right here from HomeSense. So I'm just going to round off this vlog by saying I am going to try my very hardest to finish off Good Vibes Good Life. I am almost at the end. Very almost. So I think what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to have a nice, I just dropped it, a nice self-care afternoon, evening. going to finish editing this vlog and then I might have a bath and finish this bad boy off and I will give you a full review in the next Project Lizzie video so make sure you keep an eye out for that. If you want to keep up with my progress in Project Lizzie please hit that subscription button. I would really appreciate it if you would join my little YouTube family. I post all the time. Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, be there, be square. And also if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you very, very soon for another video.